thanks for coming, Danny. I hope it wasn't too much trouble coming over. It won't take long. I just want you to hear me out. Just let me say what I have to say and hopefully we can, you know, yeah. So I just want to talk about what happened the other day on Friday night. That was quite a something. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I've ever blown up so much like that before. I, I'm just scared myself. I can't imagine how I must have come across to you. It's really, really embarrassing. Um, I, and also, I'm really sorry for throwing that remote control at your neck. I was aiming for your head, and I must have just got some, some spin on it, or, or let go of it too early, or just gone completely the wrong. No, not important. Sorry. So sorry to you and your neck. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to talk a bit about why we had that altercation, if you will. You know, cleared the air. Basically just defend why I reacted the way I did. I mean, I'm not excusing myself. I just, I just want you to see where I was coming from. Well, I like things done a certain way, and I just feel like you broke our trust. You know, I just felt like you did it deliberately just to annoy me. Look, I know it's not really a reason to get angry and, and aggressive and, and violent and... Sorry again about the neck thing, but... But, you know, I'm willing, super willing to look past that little hairy moment and try again. All I ask is that, like the rest of civilised humanity, you simply break the Kit Kat in half after slicing it down the middle with your finger. I mean, that's... It just seems weird to me that you would just stick the two fingers in your mouth. I mean, everyone else in the world knows to break it down the middle. I mean, it's the way it's done in the ads, it's the way it's done in life, right? I mean, when have the ads ever lied to us? So basically what I'm trying to say is, I am willing to overlook your blasphemous eating habits if you're willing to overlook my, my, uh, my, my mental breakdown. Just never eat a Kit Kat like that in front of me again. So, um, you're willing to give this whole first date thing another go? I mean, what do you think? 